Hi everyone and welcome to my indie review vlog, the show that gives you spoiler free reviews of indie films. My name is Asaf Angel from My Indie Productions and today I'll be reviewing 2018's feature length comedy horror One Must Fall, written and directed by US indie filmmaker Antonio Pantoja and starring among others my indie featured artist talented US actor Daniel De Weldon. Thank you Antonio for sharing your film with us. Sarah, a struggling young single mom portrayed by Julie Strebel and her gay work and childhood friend Alton, played by Andrew Yackel, begin working as part of a crime scene cleanup crew after being wrongfully fired from their office jobs by their previous obnoxious and sexist boss. The cleaning crew is made of men and women in charge of detailing crime scenes after the authorities are done processing them. It means they have to deal with mess and clutter that often includes bits and pieces of human matter. Basically not for the squeamish. Such a tragedy. Man, tragedy keeps us in business. You know, most people, they don't come back for the second day. There is pure evil in here. Other than Sarah and Alton, the team is comprised of Daniel, Regina, Dorian, Todd, and Bob, played by Daniel Duweldon, Rebecca Lindau, John Wells, Todd Proctor, and Francis Whitaker. The news reports repeated murders by a cruel and maniacal serial killer played by Barry Piacenti. Soon the team arrives on one of the killer's gruesome scenes in an abandoned industrial structure, and a concern is voiced by Sarah. How do they know that the killer has actually abandoned the premises after performing his handiwork? We're dealing with a murder scene. How sure are we that they're gone? One of the things that stood out in this film was the periodic theme. Antonio set the story in the 80s and was successful in keeping the pace and atmosphere reminiscent of the era. We see landline phones, VCRs, computers, and other electronic devices, appropriate wardrobe for the time, vehicles, etc. The film's awesome original score, composed by Joe Stockton, was also greatly inspired by the time period. For a low-budget indie film shot today, I would say that the period theme was indeed a bold choice that required much diligence, and it paid off in spades. Antonio went all out with respect to the means at the disposal of an 80s slasher film. He solely used practical effects in the film, which were extremely impressive and managed to reach proportion reminiscent of films the likes of Hostel, The Texas Chainsaw Massacre, and other films of that ilk. One thing, in my opinion, that deserves to be mentioned has to do with the way performances' styles clashed with each other. Now, I'm not saying there were issues of bad acting, I think most actors performed their roles quite well. The thing is, some characters were played straight, the way you would expect to see in a thriller or slasher horror, while others are portrayed in a way you would expect to see in a wacky comedy. These two different styles of performances, being in the same film, did not mix as well as I would have hoped in service of the story. Having said that, it's apparent that the cast was very capable, all performed at quite a high level. Indie filmmakers, especially at the start of their journey, should feel inspired by the meticulousness and heart Antonio and his team invested in One Must Fall. It's important to remember that this is Antonio's debut feature film, and he has impressed quite a lot of people with this effort. He even got the president and co-founder of Troma, Lloyd Kaufman, to do a cameo in the film. Production value was very high, well above average, as were the great cinematography, makeup, and wardrobe. The multitude of practical effects that were spread throughout the film deserve special mention as they were very well done and greatly enhanced the film. It has already collected some impressive official selections, nominations, and awards on the festival circuit. Congratulations to Antonio and the team. Special shout out to Daniel De Weldon, a featured artist on the Mainly website. Well done, Daniel. One Must Fall gets an 8.5 out of 10 on the Look at Me, I'm a Film Critic scale. The film is currently on its very successful festival run, so stay tuned for updates. Until next time, keep supporting indie film, watch, share, spread the word. My name is a soft angel, and thank you for tuning in to my indie review vlog. I'll see you next Thursday.